Hi, this is Kevin Richards and today I'm going to take you through my custom material setup. Many of my files are used on other YouTube videos and also in demos and I always get people asking me how I set up my materials. Today I'm going to just show you the foundation or the settings that I always use. I basically have a formula that's quite different from what it uh, showcase ships with their default materials. This way I can achieve my own style and look and uh, and have a lot of consistency. To start with, let's go ahead and just assign all white to all these materials. Today we're going to recreate this material. I find white to be the most difficult material to create because it's so sensitive to the lighting. To start with, let's select all of our, our objects, open up the material library, and go to the standard material library to find the generic material. The ger generic material is perfect to start with because it, everything is set at 1. Let's go ahead and turn off the highlights, clear coat, and make sure reflectivity is turned off. So this is the most important part, is the setting of the environment light and the IBL numbers. For my own personal take on materials, I always set the IBL effect to 0.8 and the environment light to 0.3. Since I'm doing a white material, I'm going to also just bring up the ambient shadows a little bit. With these settings, you can see that the color that I have selected here is pretty accurate or it resembles what you see on screen. And that way if I have a good foundation to any color that I need to go to. Since we're doing white, I'll just select 100% white. Now you notice that it's a little darker than pure white. All light colors have less contrast. So yellow, which is the closest to white, would, be, uh, would have much less contrast than say purple, which is closest to black. I'll set the IBL contrast to 0.6. I try not to ever go below this, although you can if you're going for a special look. But once you get too low, then it's not going to accurately represent your environment. So I'll just keep this at 0.6 for now. You can see now that the material looks a lot closer to white than it did before. I might want to pull this down just a little bit, not 100% white, because there's not many materials out there that's going to reflect perfect white. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the highlight. And real quick, I'm going to set this to 200, which I always change for smaller objects. For larger objects, 300 centimeters is perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the highlight. Whoa! The first thing you see is the light completely blows out. Just like in the diffuse color, I need to readjust the environment light and the IBL effect. For this one, I'm going to set it to 0.5 and 0.4. These numbers come from a lot of experimenting, so uh, you can come up with your own numbers that you're comfortable with, but these are pretty much the ones that I stick with. We can still see that it's quite bright for a white material. That is because this color here with found in the highlight is actually an additive color onto the diffuse color. What that means is if I set this to black, it means that it's not adding any additional light or reflective light to this material. As I slowly bring this up, you can see that the highlights will start appearing more and more. And what I want to do is I want to bring this, for a white object at least, just up enough where I'm really getting a white area on um, where the su uh, scene light is hitting my object. So that's pretty close. If I need to fine tune it, I can always open the color select HSV and then the value, the V channel, will control how much light I'm adding. So 30, which is probably way too much, 15 is probably just about right. In addition to that, I also have the highlight size and transition. These numbers here are going to be affected by the scene light. Probably can, I can turn these up, I can add in more, and you can see that it just keeps brightening things up. I don't mind having a little bit of this added to it, and that way it really responds when I'm changing my scene light around. 
Now, if I turned off my scene light and I only wanted to light my scene with the IBL, the image-based lighting, I'd probably have some different settings here. But in this case, I want a little bit of both. Let's go ahead and turn that down just a tad. It seemed a little, little too bright. All right. So now, let's scroll down and go to reflectivity. The most important setting inside the reflectivity is the enabled blended reflections. This is reality. This has to be turned on. When you have 100% reflectivity, you no longer can see what color is underneath in either the color here or the highlight. That's important because for white materials, you also have to realize that it's not reflecting all that much light. It can't add in or it can't add additional reflections. It can only reflect 100% of what's coming, uh, what's bouncing off of it. Keeping that in mind, all white materials are going to have light materials are going to have less reflectivity than a darker material. I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to set this really low. We might want to change this just to dial it in. I could probably even flatten this out just a tad bit. And I can explain more about this little widget that we have here uh, in some other of the video series. Now that I have all of my settings for a white material, you can see that I have a really nice lit material. It still gets dark in the shadows. My ambient shadows I can still play with to adjust how much darkness I want to add to them. And the most important part when you're setting up your materials is checking with the other environments to make sure that it looks accurate still. Here we can switch to the atrium and it looks pretty good. Seeing this one though, however, we might want to go ahead and just reduce the color down just a tad bit. So we'll just pull that down. This isn't all that bright of a scene. Most likely the tiles are white, so we don't want to be too much brighter than that. Let's go ahead and switch this back. When creating light materials, there's a few things you must remember. Lower contrast. Highlights are additive to the color selection. And that you'll have low reflectivity. With those settings, you should be able to create beautiful materials on your own. Take care and good luck.